Love to my gooners, goonerettes and gooner babies. You know what this is. It's the recap. It's the recap season. It's time to get in at this a little bit. Time to get in at this a little bit. So you know, in this video, we're going to be looking at the most exciting moments. Yeah, the exciting moments, goal stats, all that kind of business. We're going to be jumping into that. So make sure you watch the whole video, see who lands where, and see where I think are the memorable moments of this season. And if it will actually be noted down in history forever and ever and ever, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, people. All right, let's get it. Out of North London, gotta represent. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Big on ballsy, big on ballsy. All right, we're gonna start off right at the top where we're supposed to start people right at the top so first and foremost let's congratulate the winners man city jumped up in there won the thing 91 points to our 89 points this is what it is we all know those few draws those couple losses ah oh. oh anyhow Man City won, we came second, Liverpool came third, they bottled it. Villa, well done, overachieving, they got the fourth spot. And then if we jump down to relegation, Sheffield United, they fell out. They fell out the Premier League. Ooh, Burnley gone, although their manager did well enough to maybe get him a big, big, maybe the biggest job in Germany. And then, of course, Luton wrapped it up on 26 points with Nottingham Forest above them on 32 points. That was the difference. That was the difference, people. That's the league right there. Nothing really much to say. You know what I'm saying? Nothing really much to say about that. It is what it is. Everyone lands where they land. My apologies for not actually having that on screen for you. My apologies. That's what I was looking at. That's what I was looking at right there. So, yeah, that is it. Now we're going to go into another section where we talk about these match highlights that I want to talk about real quick. Yes. All right, people, hold tight. Hold tight. Let me go get this right. Love games. All right, so for me, yeah, I've got two matches I've got written down here. So I've got the Liverpool game, game at, at home, yeah, where, um, sorry, I just realised. On my screen, there you go. Where we are at home, the Martinelli barge into Van Dyke. Van Dyke messes up the keeper's flow. Keeper tried to jump out the way. Martinelli just taps it through. And then the same type of goal was kind of repeated in the FA Cup final with the two Man United clubs. Oh, yeah. But not only that, the Trossard goal. The Trossard goal, blood. When Trossard looks like he's got his back to goal or even back just halfway, just halfway, as in facing the, the centre circle, let's say. All it takes is him just to drop the shoulder and then he's gone. He is gone and that brother don't stop running. I don't know why. It only seems to be at best Saka makes the run from the other side as well for him to maybe cross it in. But everyone should be running. They should be filling it up. Get me? Havertz should be running straight down the middle. Someone else should, like Erdegaard or Rice, should be waiting at the top of the box and Saka far post because you know when Trossard goes, he goes. You know what I mean? It was beautiful. And then he scored himself. He didn't even pass. He scored himself. You know what I'm saying? That's match one. And match two is the looting game away. Rice, last minute. What I'll tell you, I was watching like this. Like, oh, fuck me. I predicted that to be a spanking, but that was actually before I saw any game of Luton. I predicted to be a spanking. Before that, I was like, yo, let's just go over there and do what we're supposed to do. And boy, did Luton make that game hard. Boy, did they push us. Boy, did they hold us. I can't remember. Did they score first? I'm not too sure. Did we score first? Either way, it was 2-2 going into the 90 of something. Get me? I remember it. Ball got crossed in. I think Zinchenko took a shot. 
Did he take a shot or did he get crossed in either way? Came right back out. Captain said, give me that ball. Gave him the ball because he wasn't going to cross it in twice. Captain bent that in, blood. He gave himself one look. Saw something. Saw something. I don't know if it was Rice or Gab, but Rice is the one who rolls, blood. Rolls. Boom. Bottom right corner, blood. Had to keep a stretch in for his life. Nice. Last seconds, last seconds. It was just like a Reese Nielsen against Bournemouth. Last goddamn seconds. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? It was beautiful. I'm, I, I can, <laughs> I can see it now. It's insane. All right. Next up, we're gonna hit the memorable moments. Yeah, memorable moments for me. Rice's goal against West Ham. We were already spanking them. I can't remember if that was the, the sixth goal or the or the fifth goal. I can't remember exactly. But I'm 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 gonna go with it was the last goal. It just makes the story sound better. So we spanking them. Yeah, we spanking them. We took their captain for a hundred mil. Bargain. They got robbed, blood. Know that. They got robbed. Now we spanking them. Coming down the right hand side, I can't remember who it was. In my mind, I want to say clearly. I want to say it was Arsenal. I mean, it was Arsenal. It was um, it was Saka coming down the right hand side and crosses it, but I can't, I can't see it. So that'll be like a Nelson Mandela effect thing that I'm doing, just putting Saka there. The ball comes in, it gets peeled back, and Trossard's there. The captain's there. Erdegaard's there. The ball rolls right between them because both of them are leaving it for the other. Yeah. But the ball's got a little bit of speed on it. So if what once it goes past, it's going. So they both like, uh, they both start to give each other an opportunity. And then they realize, no, not, not, we're both doing this. No. And then they look, they peel to the right and Rice just comes out of nowhere. Blah. Shot, right foot, bend that like Beckham, blood. Let the keeper reach for his bomb off team. And it just didn't work out. Boom. And then the class that Declan has just. It's like, calm down, everyone. Chill, chill. Gave a little, I'm here now, but calm down. Calm down. That boy got class, man. That boy got class, man. So that's a memorable moment. And then Rhea getting the golden glove. Memorable moment because it brings back all the saves. You know what I'm saying? He worked hard. He earned that number one spot, my guys. He earned it. He earned it. You're going to have to give him the number one jersey next year, especially it doesn't even matter if Rambo stays or not. you got to get that up. you got to get that up. We're not doing, uh, you're the club captain, but on the pitch, this other guy's the captain. What kind of fart talk that, blood? What kind of fart talk that? We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. All right, next up. Got a little bit of stats, some numbers and bits and bobs. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. You like and subscribe to the channel. All right. So here we go. Here we go. It's the standout player section. Yeah, standout player section. So we're going to start with the top goal scorers. Yeah, our top goal scorer this season was Saka. Got 16 out of 35 games. You know what I mean? Saka. Does Saka have a good season? Eh. Eh. Yeah, a bad season. He's a top goal scorer. I know the goals got passed around. The goals do get passed around. It's been that way since Henri left. Goals get passed around. We ain't got, uh, depending on one brother, we ain't got that no more. We don't, we don't deal with them things there. And now if we do get this striker that we're talking about, we're going to have like the best of both worlds type thing. So Saka got 16 out of 35. In second place is Havertz with 13 out of 37. 37 games. And just to just throw it in there, Trussell, I've got 12 out of 34 games. You know, under Dignes, that's three of those. But really, we're just talking about the top two. But let's put, put um, Trossard in there. Best player. Um, We're talking playmakers. So mostly going to be midfield. So we've got Erdegaard. We're talking assists. Erdegaard has got 11 out of 35. Rice has got 8 out of 38. So Rice played every minute as well, did he? Or no? He might not have played every minute, but he played every game. Or at least started every game. Yeah, so Rice is definitely doing his thing. 
You know what I mean? He's getting further up the field, getting stronger, getting better. Erdegaard's getting better. You know what I'm saying? He's starting to see even more. You know what I mean? He's got the vision. The vision is starting to get the vision of Ozil plus the strength of himself, or should I say the strength of Ozil has now. You seen that, brother? Sheesh. It's crazy. Um, breakout stars for this one. I can't give it because this is normally for a young player. We ain't got, we don't have no breakout young players, really. We do have some academy guys that's doing good in the academy, but they haven't come into the senior squad and then did bits. You know what I mean? So I can't say that. The only one we're going to talk about breakout stars and not make it about the young players is Rice hit the ground running this season. Saliba and Gabriel got more solid this season. Benjamin got better this season. Rhea showed his ass this season. Erdegaard got even better this season. You get me? Martinelli slipped this season. You know what I mean? But we can talk about that in, in a different section, which is coming up now. So we're going to talk about the biggest surprises and the biggest disappointments. Um, actually, I need to look for one more thing on here. I need to look for one more thing. Hold on a minute, people. See, I knew he was going to do that. Go back. Sure, I'm looking for one more player that I've got to have on, and it's for this section as well. Get me, and I don't want to mess it up. Don't want to mess it up. Did you search for it? Sorry, people. There you go. Jesus Christ, man. All right. So this section here is the biggest surprises and biggest disappointment so for bigger surprise i've got one player in here i can pull it on the screen so you can see you are good one sorry just gotta switch that up boom so we talking about kai kai right now we're talking about kai kai being the surprise of the season being the surprise of the season 128 Oh, no, it's Premier League record. Are we going to some stats here? And this is going to be for Arsenal and Chelsea or just for Chelsea? I mean, just for Arsenal. Discipline, yellow cards, 21 yellow cards, no red cards, 176 fouls, 62 offsides. That's too many. We're going to have to cut that down, those 62 offsides. Goals, 32. Yeah, that's not this season. That's definitely not this season. That must be his... Yeah, look, all seasons. We don't want all seasons. We just want this season. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's better. So I just want to get these numbers in. So 11, 11 yellow cards. No red cards, 49 fouls, and 15 offsides. That's not bad. 15 offsides, although we can still cut that in half. You know what I mean? We can still cut that in half for the boy. But I think he had, he's definitely the biggest surprise is, is Havertz. He is meant to be the flop of the season. He is nowhere near that list. Nowhere near that list. His name doesn't even come up. If it does come up, it's coming up because, damn, how wrong were you to bring him up? Is like very embarrassing, right? Very embarrassing. So we go from one player who was the surprise of the season. You get me? He was the surprise of the season to the disappointing player of the season. Now I got two of these. So in second place, I have Martinelli. So I just want to get the right numbers up. 
23, 24, that is correct. All right, you've got one yellow card, 23,009 offsides. Again, I'm going to cut those offsides in a half. Assists, four. You need to double that, triple that. Passes, all right. Big chances created, seven. You need to get more of that. Crosses, 109, okay. You know what I'm saying? Through balls, three through balls. Jesus Christ, accurate long balls, 24, good. Um, goal six, need to get some more of those. I want at least 10, at least 10 from Martinelli. And that's standard. Um, headed goals, I don't care what you do as long as they go in. Don't care if it's left, right foot, don't care. You ain't getting penalties, that'll be Saka or the captain. Free kicks, possibly. Shots, 58 shots on target, 22. Need to sync that up a little bit. Definitely need to sync that up a little bit, 38%. Um, shooting accuracy and big chances missed five. You need to half that, get that down to two, three. You don't need none of that, but yeah, I don't know. No injuries, doesn't say anything about injuries on here, but um, I know he went down, but he just hasn't been himself this whole season. You get me? Little, little sparks here and there, but he has not been himself. But he's in a number two slot. For disappointment of the season, number one spot goes to the one and only Zins. Yes, sir. Let's check out these stats here, man. 27 appearances, scored one goal, 19 wins and four losses. Clean sheets is involved with three. So what? Ray has got 16, they say. So 13 he got without Zins being there. He got two assists. All right. Tackles 50. Tackle success, 60%. All right, it's over the average. Last man tackle, zero. That's not good. And he has been last man a couple of times. Um, block shots, 10. Need more of those. Interceptions, 20. Good, but we want more. Clearances, 22. Good, but we want more. Heading clearances, 10. Clearance off the line, one. I think I remember that one. Very important, you know what I'm saying? Recoveries, 104. Good, but let's... Make it so we don't have to recover. Jules won, 93. Jules lost, 60. Let's try and half those Jules lost. You get me? I'm planning for you not to be here, but if you are here, you know what I mean? Successful 50, 50, 7. Got to be higher than that. We've got to get there. Aerial battles won, 27. Aerial battles lost, 16. Own goals, none. We like that number. Errors leading to a goal, 1. We've got to get that down to 0. We don't like that. Yellow cards, 2. Red cards, none. Foul, 7. Offsides, 1. Goals, 1. Nice. Yeah, it's not the worst when you look at the numbers, but eye test, baby. Eye test definitely hasn't been that brother right there. All right, so next up, we're going to be talking some more, some more stats. Yeah, we've got what one, two, three more main things to talk about. So we're going to talk some stats, break that down a little bit. Let's take a look at some of these team stats. And see what's cooking. Are you ready? Of course you are. Can you keep a secret? You can make a pass, tell me in my heart. You can make a tummy, you can tell me in my eye. You can tell me in my eye. Right, so we got to look at this team stats right here. Let me give you... Oh, sorry, my eye. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me give you one of these. Have I got the right page up? Arsenal stats right here. So, matches played 38, wins 28, losses 5, goals scored 91, goals conceded 29, clean sheets 18. Okay, that means two of them were for Rambo. Yeah. That's what we're dealing with right here. 657 shots, got 91 goals. Can you believe that? Well, 228 shots, got 91 goals. Got to get that accuracy way up. Penalty squad, 10. Big chances created, 87. I'd like more of those hitting the woodwork. I prefer them to go in off the woodwork. You know what I mean? Um, clean sheets, 18, as we said. Goals conceded, 29, as we said. Saves, 55. Tackles, 610. Success is 57. So it's just over average, but we want more of that shit. We want more of that. Yellow cards, 62. Red cards, too. I don't even remember the red cards, to tell you the truth. 
I don't even remember the red cards like that. There's only two, so there you go. Fouls 267. Only if we need them to be. Only if we need them to be, my guys. Um, What else do I have down here? What's it, what did I have for tackles? Most saves, I mean, most saves, or should I say most clean sheets, that goes to Rare with 16. I said that already. Most tackles, the highest percentage is 67.4, and that goes to Mr. Saliba, the Rolls Royce. You want to dig me, big him up each and every time. Just some random fact, just in case you cared. Um, highest attendance, 60,374. Lowest, 59,961. Average, 60,236. You want to dig me? All right. Now we're going to jump into and have a little look-see about the future. About the future. We're going to talk about that. O T S Gang Gang. All right, people. So, what are we going to say? Next season's expectations. That's what we're doing with right now. And what did I say last season? I said last season, my, I wanted top two. Yeah, top two and a cup. Now I have to, I have to, my chest is higher. My chest is higher than that. And I am saying I want the title and I want the cup. So I want a double. I want a double bubble next year. I don't even care what the double is. If I'm going to be honest, I don't care what the, the, the double is, but I I would prefer it, one of them to be the Premier League. I'd prefer that. You know what I mean? But double, please. Premier League, FA Cup, Premier League, League Cup, Premier League, Champions League, Champions League, FA Cup, FA Cup, League Cup. And second place, I'm putting... See, I want to win the Premier League. Yeah, that's my expectation, is to win the Premier League. And get a cup to go with it. I don't care what that cup is. So that cup can be League Cup, FA Cup, Champions League. That is optional. But I want the league. Yeah, I want the league. Um, as a whole, obviously, um, prospects, I want it to be... We aim for that. I want it to be, we aim for that. We're challenging as always. Worst case, worse. Challenge for a top two and get me the cup. Worst case, worse. I'll go back to last season's expectations. And I'm saying, if it goes a little, if it goes a little, just get me a cup and get top two. But this season, we got the top two last year. We didn't get no cup. Get me the winner of the Premier League and any other any other club cup that you want. Um, transfers, players that I want to keep and players that I think should be sold. I already did a separate video for that. Players that I want in. Um, I, I don't really have names per se. Like there's a few players that I want, but I don't like um, Zavi Sims. I want him to come to Arsenal. I'd like um, Leon Bailey. You know what I'm saying? So there's just too many I ain't going to do names, but position-wise, I do think we need to get that out-and-out out striker who does his business, you know what I'm saying? Um, where else? We need a replacement for party, you know what I'm saying? Because Jorginho ain't it. We need a replacement for party. Someone to come in and start kicking ass just like Rice did straight away, no wasting, you know what I'm saying? If anything, go straight in, makes Jorginho have to fight, you know what I mean? Not someone young that Jorginho has to show the way, none of that. Let's stay focused on the mission that we're building here. So someone to replace party. We need another left back. If we're not going to keep t &E, we need another left back anyway, because I think Zinchenko should go. Um, we might need another, another centre-back to help. Rather put pressure on or just to help Saliba and Gabriel. Right back, I think we're cool in that position. Goalkeeper, we're probably going to need another number two because Rambo seems to be on his way out. That seems to be that. If you underdig me, can't think of nothing else really. But yeah, so we need another number two. I think we need another um, centre back. We need another left back. We need another right winger, and we need a centre, uh, and we need a striker. And obviously, someone to replace Party as well, if I didn't cover that just then. Yeah. 
That's it, that's it, that's it, people. That's it, that's it, that's it. But all right, so that is the wrap up for the 23 24 season. It's been it's been crazy. We've been up, we've been down, we've been <gasps> we've been whoop, last day. I like it that we brought it down to the last day. You cannot cry about it, you cannot moan about it. But is what it is, people. I beg you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this. Like and subscribe. Make sure you comment below anything that I brought up. If you've got a different answer for it, drop it down. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Going to be doing much more on this channel. Going to be doing much more. So interact with me, man. So I know you're there. So I know we can build. You want to dig? All right, people. Stay good. Stay blessed. You know I me? Mean? I is Carmen Monero, and this is Guna on the sofa. Make sure you scan the code that you see them. You know what I mean? Stay good, stay blessed, and I will see you on the next episode. Man, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the ladies. You know what I mean? Exactly the same thing for the ladies. So I will see you on the next one. Stay good, stay blessed, and I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> To my goodness, to the babies, make sure you subscribe. Woo! all day, you know that it won't change. So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over. Get it hype, this is Guna on the sofa.